worked in the ER for two years and a stab wound to the gut does not kill anyone that quickly, <laughs> nor are they quiet about it. Nora, that was my best horror movie death scene. If you're trying to go for realism here, why don't you actually act like you're in agonizing pain and then pee yourself? <laughs> you pee yourself. <laughs> this is exactly why I think slasher films are way over the top. Why? Crazy people kill other crazy people all the time. Here we go. Yeah, but the killers try to hide it. Why in the movies do they insist on using the bodies to decorate? What are you talking about? Okay, you know, like in the end of the movie when they're running away from the killer and that every turn the bodies fall out of the door or they're swinging from a tree. Like, really? Who does that? You two are way overthinking these movies. Okay, Nora, you're the one Oh my god, I work in the ER, and every time a stab victim comes in, I piss everywhere! <laughs> nice, Vi. I'm just saying that if there was really a killer in the woods, I'd find a hiding spot and I'd stay there. I would literally live in my hiding spot. You know what I would do? I would start a pillow fight. What? Of course she would. Typical. Think, come on, think, <laughs> about it, think about it. Nobody ever dies during a pillow fight. Okay. What man in his right mind is gonna interrupt that if he stumbles upon it? Oh my I god, it's a killer! <laughs> Autumn. My bad. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no. oh my god, there's a killer. <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god, they're gonna watch us. We're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never die this way. <laughs> Sarah's on her way. Oh my gosh, you're so silly. <laughs> Callie's coming. What? Callie is coming here. Why is she bringing her sister? Apparently Callie's doctor thought it was a good idea and Sarah agreed. You're joking. Is there any more alcohol left? Can you get me a refill too? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever met Sarah's sister? Well, I mean, I knew her before. Yeah. Okay, you're lucky. I met her at Sarah's graduation and that girl would say the most random shit. Like what? Like she told my dad that my grandmother never liked him and he should be happy that she's dead. Okay, that's messed up. Did your dad do anything? No. I think Callie got sedated or something because she got dragged in the house and we didn't see her the rest of the day. Okay, I heard she had a breakdown. What happened? Well, Sarah never really likes to talk about it, but apparently after her parents divorced, her dad and stepmom were found murdered in their bedroom. What? Did Kelly do it? I don't know. That's what everyone says. To elaborate on your story, they found the dad in his room stabbed nine times in the back. Then they found the mom in Callie's room with her throat slit. And then Callie they found in the bathtub completely naked and suffering from some sort of head trauma. Okay, did the stepmom do it? Maybe like a murder-suicide? No. They found a trail of blood along the ceiling from the stepmom going from the master bedroom to Callie's room as if the stepmom had been dragged up there. Okay, whoa, 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 And she's bringing her sister, why? Well, I for one do not want to be sober when she gets here. Okay, on that note, how about we play a little Gypsy uh, Surmise? Uh, oh, I want that drinking tarot game again. Don't do that, Nora. Old Don't lady. degrade the game. <laughs> but you two suck at it. Duh. That's the whole point of a drinking game. I don't read fortunes anymore, so at least we can get some use out of the cards and have a little fun. Whatever, I just got a text from Sarah. She needs help with her stuff. I'll be back. Let's just do a few shots before they come back. I'm down. All right. I'm gonna get so wasted. I'm ready to make out. What? Did you have a good drive up here? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. I'm glad you made it. Bottles. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think she's in a straight jacket? Oh my god, shut up. Kelly, please like. Come on, you're letting all the heat outside. Come on, let's go. Look at Kelly. Let's go. Let's go say hi. It's fine. Yeah, we're having a great good. time. Glad Maybe. you finally made it. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Fun time. Hi. Hey, hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Hello. So good to see you. Good. Woo! I came prepared for this trip. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Woohoo! All right.
right, you guys, calm down. We still have to get up tomorrow and go hiking. Nobody is allowed to get a hangover. Sorry, Mom, no promises. So, Sarah, are you down to play a little Gypsy Surmise? No way, I suck at that game. All the more reason to play. No, because I always get the cards wrong. And? If you guys want her <laughs> drunk, why don't you just force feed her the hooch? Really, Nora? Hooch? <laughs> You're such an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> okay. This card is always whole, healthy, and without fear. The spirit expressed and experienced as wonder, awe, curiosity, and anticipation. King of Swords. No. Dream. <laughs> All right. The Hermit. Wrong. Drink. Drink. What about you, Sarah? I don't even remember what cards are in there. So that means... Drink. Drink. <laughs> Whoa, let me at least try to guess. He wears a big hat, he tells jokes, and he has a little stuff. I don't know, Joker? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sarah, these are not playing cards. <laughs> We're not playing poker. Come on, oh they could have guessed better Do than that. Okay? It's the fool. The card is the fool. Callie, how did you know what it was? The same way I know Autumn's holding the devil card. Oh my god. Oh, that's <laughs> Mira says this card will define your fate tonight. No, you're not pulling the shit tonight. Seriously, oh, what my was that? What was that supposed was to mean? That? Seriously, how did she know the card? Yeah. Uh, there's no way that she could have known these cards. This is not my weekend. Like, she... I, don't, I don't care who it is. Stop, stop talking about your weird little friend Mira. It's you sound like you're batshit crazy. This is why you're in a mental institution. No, it's Mira. You should not have come with me this weekend. Yeah. You should not have come with me this weekend. It's not you, it's Mira. You're the supposed to be having fun and not have to worry about her and just, you know. I need some air. I better go after her. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Hey, what's wrong? I'm afraid to see what it is. What is it? Oh, sword card. It's not the death card, so I don't care. All right, let's just forget all of this. Let's go drink the rest of this bottle. You're right. Someone has to celebrate on this bachelor party. <laughs> I'm pretty creeped out anyways. I wouldn't let it get to you. I can't do it anymore. I can't pretend to be nice to my sister. I know, but nobody said families are easy to deal with. Take a look at my family. They're all fall down drunks, and then they accuse each other of being alcoholics. Yeah, I know. It's just, she has this imaginary friend. Really? An imaginary friend? After my father passed, she created this friend. She would say the weirdest things and blame it on her friend. It was so embarrassing, I couldn't take her anywhere. She would even go up to complete strangers and tell them things that would freak them out. I had her committed after she got violent. I'm sure that wasn't easy. Autumn? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want me to hold your hair? Why did I let you talk me into doing the whole bottle? Please don't come out. Please don't come out. Do you need some soup? How about you just leave me here to puke my guts out in peace? <sighs> Autumn! Violet! Okay, I'm leaving! What bugs me? I swear it was a few months before the incident that that she mentioned the name Mira. My dad and stepmom were renovating their new house, and I remember her telling me about a cellar door in the basement. Wait, a cellar door in the basement or to the basement? No, it was in the basement. It was put in her own prohibition to hide liquor. <sighs> Callie, you scared me. What are you doing out here? I thought you were supposed to be in Sarah's room. What are you saying? I remember Callie calling me at 3 in the morning. and She'd had a nightmare about a girl who was underneath the cellar door. So what happened in this nightmare? She let her out. Ugh. I'm gonna have such a headache in the morning. 
all be nightmares. Ugh. That's really eerie. I don't want to think about it. This is my time, right? Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> turn in. We have a lot of hiking to do tomorrow. I hope the Bobsy twins are up for it. They better be. This was not supposed to be a weekend boost fest. This weekend hasn't had such a great start. True, but don't worry, Sarah. Tomorrow is a new day. You coming in? No, I just want to be alone for a bit. All right, well, don't stay up too late. You don't want to sleep your weekend away. Your Eldwin. Violet, how drunk are you? It's freezing in here. I like the cold. It warms me. What the hell are you talking about? I am she that lives. I am alive forevermore and hold the keys of hell and of death. Violet, I'm gonna smash you in the face with this if you don't stop acting like a creepy bitch. Do you remember when I called you and I told you about my dream? What? I called you and I told you about my nightmare where I went down to the cellar and I let a girl out of the cellar door? Yes, I remember. It was real. It wasn't a nightmare. I went down to the basement and I let her out. They locked her in there because she was never human. Callie, none of this explains why Violet is acting like a lunatic. She's a demon. She's like, she knows things like a psychic when she makes me tell people their secrets. I need a phone. You 
will never get rid of me. Hello, is anyone home? Deputy entering the premises, responding to a call. Is anyone here? Come in. Are you okay? Dispatch, come in. Go ahead. Responding to a call. We have bodies down. We need an ambulance in here. Stand by. What happened here? She killed them. How many more are there? Three. We have three bodies down. We need an ambulance quick. Ten four. What's your name? Mira.